I floated alongside a wise guide and remember hearing the pleas coming from people on earth who needed help. I said, these people can help themselves. My guide said, life on earth is very hard and you are about to learn that. Every human on this planet needs to know something very important before they can ascend completely. Why don't you send someone to earth who remembers this place and he can tell everyone? They have attempted that. Humans cannot fully believe the word of one man. I remember being forced here to learn a lesson. I did not want to come. My guide gave me a choice of a hard or easy life. The harder the life, the more growth my soul would make. By choosing a hard life, my guide and I were aware of the implications and consequences. There was a real possibility of failing, so I refused to choose. I will be homesick. I do not want to leave, I said. It will only be for 60 to 70 years. When you sleep, you can visit home. I didn't want to leave, but they made the choice for me. It wasn't as if I was being enslaved into doing an overlord's bidding. It was more an understanding that this is the way things are, even though I didn't agree. Since childhood, I have had concrete memories of my parents' wedding, the white and lavender colors and standing with my guide in a circle around the wedding cake. When mom and dad were getting ready for the cake cutting, a man who was trying to be the center of attention walked into the middle of the circle. He started to dance when all of a sudden he fell into the wedding cake. I turned to my guide and said with sarcasm, well, this is going to be a great life. He said with a chuckle, don't worry, it will all work out. My memory was so vivid that I thought I had attended my parents' wedding. So when I was 10, I mentioned to mom, who was that man that fell into your wedding cake? Oh, that was your uncle JC. He fell into the cake drunk. I don't understand how you know that. You weren't born yet. Mom chalked this up to me hearing stories when I was young. I became confused about how I could have this memory after mom told me that I had not been born yet. My parents were married in August 1983. I was born in January 1985. For the next 20 years, I searched for an explanation. I felt somewhat at peace when I heard about other people who remembered life before birth. 